Hello my soccer universe! <laughs> Another parcel. I told you there will be loads of unpackings coming. This one, uh, Andy from Andy's football shirts, you know we had the chat, uh, helped me with uh, the order of these three uh, wonderful shirts. I can't wait to unpack them. Uh, fortunately, uh, it's coming from Great Britain. Uh, we did everything that I said, you know, market is a gift, um, blah, blah, blah. They still charge me for the tax. Uh, yeah, you win some, you lose some. I told Andy that I do not blame him. It is for me unpredictable at this moment. The last time classic football shirts uh, order came, came in, which was way more declared value as this one, um, I had to pay nothing. Now I had to pay 20 overall. So, you know, go figure, it is a crapshoot. But, you know, the most important thing is that I have it and it is still, all of it would still qualify well as a steal. Just have to adjust my budget a little, a slightly for it. Uh, as I said, there are three jerseys in there and I also see two magazines. So this makes it rather, rather exciting. I'm gonna now uh, open this up very carefully. <laughs> I don't want to cut with the tape or so on. And I'll take one jersey out. You see, I'm all geared up for Champions League. I shoot this now. Uh, I already have the Champions League background up. I shoot this before the Wednesday games are happening. So, uh, namely the um, Liverpool, Benfica, and Atleti, Man City. Uh, so, Real Madrid has already won uh, against Chelsea in a very uh, dramatic manner, shall we say. And so, yeah, uh, the jersey I want to take out is actually one that I will need for the Europa League review. I've been really, really waiting for it. But let's first look at the nice things that Andy gave me in addition here. We have here volume one more than a shirt. Oh, this will be really, really nice to look into. Oh, there are some current shirts, a Denmark third shirt, which of course had, oh, I will have to, that is something I'll have to look into. This is pretty amazing. The Ajax third shirt, so it's all current shirts. This will be really nice. This is by Phil Delft. I think I'm following him somewhere. Probably on um, Twitter. So yeah, uh, the name uh, the name rings a bell, but I don't know yet. I, I really this thanks so much. This is this will be an awesome read. I'll pull it right next to the stand, and then here we have the classic football shirts museum. Mm -hmm. This is also of course a great one. Also very nicely done here. Ah, uh, euros. <laughs> I think I have at least the non-player versions of all of these shirts, which is, uh, no, not all of these, but, you know, at least the winning shirts. Uh, yeah, another one. That's, that will be another one to just look into and, uh, oh, already loving it, already loving it. This will be, this will be great. Oh, this will be study great, of course. Milan as well, so we're very happy about this one. Now, if if there's a real, <laughs> I don't think there will be. If there's a last shirt in there, I'm I'm gonna <laughs> yell and scream from joy. But I have I have absolutely um, no hope for this ever happening. But uh, please look at this page, the football Italia years. I mean, does it get better any better than this one up here? Roberto Baggio for Milan. I remember I was so happy when that transfer happened. Uh, that's pretty, that's awesome. That's absolutely awesome. And um, Andy, we got this shirt and short sleeves coming your way. The Inter Ambro Ronaldo, which was also, not that it is my favorite team in any by any stretch of the imagination, because it is just not, but that shirt was awesome. That shirt is awesome. And uh, here the Zidane Real Madrid uh, an, uh, anniversary jer uh, jersey. You don't really see it here, but the white one back there, that's exactly that jersey. Thank you so much. I'm really looking forward to looking into these uh, two magazines. This this is, will be absolutely special. This is absolutely special. Looking forward to it. So I put one here, one here on the bed. So, okay. 
Now, uh, it is now a little bit of guesswork which uh, is which, but I think the loose shirt, yeah, the loose shirt is the one that I want to show you now, and the other ones I will unpack at, uh, at the later video because they will. Uh, they are teams that are not in the Europa League any, any anymore. Um, just before I show you this one, uh, these are all in, when we look champions, latter stages, all of these teams. Uh, the one that I'm showing you has been closest to a Champions League final in my lifetime. Probably they should have played there given uh, how um, how the, uh, the other, one of the eventual winner cheated overall, let's put it that way, throw, dropping in. The other two, one has been a Champions League, one uh, recently, the other one, I think I remember them being in the Champions League a long time, time ago, but nowhere near. So rather smaller teams. All of them are kind of bluish and the most blue is this one here rangers yes i needed a rangers shirt because uh they made it all the way to uh the quad quarter final with a decent chance of making it to the semis and also it is one of the teams that andy supports he has uh now two la does he have two last shirts already i guess so uh at least one and so yeah uh, i have an everton shirt as a uh, club he supports i have a rain ranger shirt now queen queen of the south is missing because you know, of all my collector friends, I also want to have jerseys from the clubs that they support. Because it's just fun to do it this way. Um, I was at one point thinking about the Castori uh, once, but I have to say, I was I'm not so uh, how to say excited by this. But Homo, this Homo shirt, I really really like. I like the. I mean, it is a simple ra Ranger shirt. Uh, it's you know blue. But I really like the way the color is with a little bit of red. I really like that one. Um, and I have to say, this is really nice. We we will follow Rangers from uh, the tail. I really like like that authentic tag. Um, and there's also uh, the logo printed into the um, into the shadow pattern, which I think is a really really nice touch. Homo does really nice things. I think I want to say it is the 1819 uh, season. It is blank on the back. Uh, but uh, in the end, I think they did really well in the Europa League that season. And I remember seeing that one when I did my Europa League jersey. Yeah, back then when I still had the time to do this. Or when I was not overthinking those things. Maybe it's a better way to say it. And I always liked this one. I think this is a really, really nice look. Now, of course, uh, the special thing with Rangers is that the logo they have on the shirt is a different one than um, the one they use for, uh, you know, the official Rangers logo. And then they have a jersey logo, which I always find very, very interesting. The five stars, for, of course, for the over 50 titles that they have won. But yeah, it's a beautiful shirt. It's my first Scottish shirt. Uh, the Scottish League is unfortunately one that I don't follow that closely. Um, but you know, Rangers is one of those teams that I have, I have been aware of ever since I'm a soccer fan. So I'm very happy to finally have a Rangers shirt. I think it's an absolute beauty. What do you think? Of course, if you're a Celtic fan, you probably want to burn it. But hey, if Celtic does better, I will get maybe a Celtic jersey as well. And then we have it evened out again in the collection. But at the moment, it's the Rangers shirt. And I have to say, I always, uh, I was always a bit more because Rangers were really good in the 90s when I started following. So in any case, please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I'm going to wish you a wonderful day. Oh,